Hey guys, it's Noah here, back with another video for you guys today. Today I'm doing a voiceover of some uh, NRL trading cards I opened this year. This is the last two videos. I combined them into one video to give you this Wild West Tigers season kind of review video. If you guys aren't aware, there has been a documentary that's brought out the Wild West. Um, it's the Tigers first few games of the 2021 season. It is an awesome insight to um, what goes on behind the doors. That not a lot of people will be able to get a chance to see at um, you know what goes on behind there um, I hope more teams can do this um, it's cool to see inside the sheds and what goes on cool to see the gym room and see what you know type of facilities they use cool to see inside the coaches boxes and what the coaches are thinking along with some of the players and different coaching staff insights are very cool to see um, so in the first episode uh, they're, I don't know how many episodes they are doing, but the first episode is four games. It is the Raiders, Roosters, Knights, and Eels game. Uh, the Tigers played in, like I said, start of the year. Um, so the game one, the mood changes pretty much as soon as game one rolls around, which it should. Um, it feels like a very upbeat type of documentary, and then they go into the sheds, and it's very serious, um, which you, know, you, sh you would hope to see if you were a Tigers supporter. Um, there was lots of emotion in the box, which I love to see. I love seeing emotion from the coaches and the players. Um, shows they're really invested into the game. Um, it has. It was awesome to see that, like the badger, in the box to um, help Maguire understand some of the rules. And then, like, if you know, there was a specific part, I was like, "What was that?" And he said, "Oh, they're just looking at this." I think that's awesome. I think um, if all coaches were kind of able to have that. Um, ability in the box maybe some post-match uh, review interviews might not go um, as badly as they do but that was awesome and um, be cool if more teams can get some coach uh, some ex uh, referees in the boxes to understand the game um, it's interesting about the injury and that it wasn't stopped if it was stopped <laughs> the Raiders possibly don't score in that set um, that was one of the big I think lead ups to the first one was that specific scene um, how Maguire was really asking for the game to be stopped and the trains were unable to do so. So it was cool to see that kind of insight to the game. Uh, the coaches, the coach came in to the players really calm and then started giving it to them at the end of the game. Um, he came in, he kind of was just like, you know, that's all right. Like, and then just as he kept going, it started to build up, which was really interesting um, and interesting to see how he approaches the games later on in the season when they start losing a couple and if the Tommy Rodonigas game is in there I'd love to see what the coach's opinion was on that game if they were able to get that so that is the game one I think it was a you know cool insight the game two against the Roosters I wasn't a big fan of this specific segment myself um, just because they kind of follow the um, young fan and a sponsor slash fan which to me is kind of I understand why they did it to show the fan support behind the Tigers but to me it's a waste um, because I think everyone that follows the sport knows just how much um, support the sponsors and the fans give into their teams maybe this was to people that don't really follow the sport and wasn't sure about how much they uh, the supporters actually get into the game it was for that point I understand but for someone who is a big fan of rugby league, has been a big fan of rugby league for a long period of time, I found this as a waste of time and they could have um, mic'd someone else up and given something else, um, you know, light for that one. Um, and it was a f tough first two games for the, uh, for the Tigers, Raiders and the Roosters, tough first two games for the season. Um, and from what I remember, they were kind of in it with the Roosters for a while there, but then the Roosters were just able to roll right on them. So um, it was unfortunate there for the Tigers to have such a tough first game, uh, first two games, sorry. Game three isn't that much easier, really. It was the Knights uh, who finished last year pretty well. And this was cool to see some of the play insights. I think they started giving most of them buys insight for this one. Um, and that was cool to see. It was also cool to see the beach day and um, the insight to how close the team is as a unit and kind of what, because um, I think a lot of people think they just go training and then play footy on game day. It's cool to see, you know, they're more 
having fun at the beach, like, you know, spend time with some fans, it looked like as well. So it was cool to see that. Uh, for this game, it was an early occasion, uh, early identification, sorry, on danger time, which was five minutes to half time. And they identified that pretty quickly. And I feel like that might still be a problem for the Tigers and something they haven't been able to really fix. But all in all, it was a tough first win for the Tigers. They won that game. It was Mitchell Pierce's 300th game. So tough loss for him, but good win for the Tigers. And it's an awesome video review insight. What they, um, the next part, they kind of showed James Tamo like review session and stuff like that, which was cool to have that little insight. And also the leadership group dinner was a cool insight as well. Cool to see, um, you know, what they do for the leaders of a team. Uh, we haven't been able to really see too much of other teams. I saw the Panthers one they did last year. Um, and the Panthers one I think was awesome. Hopefully they can do some for some other um, teams, like I said at the start, because it's just really cool for, you know, young up-and-coming um, players that want to play in the NRL to see kind of what they can get into if they try hard enough and succeed in their um, in their roles for the teams and stuff like that and are able to continue that through the rep uh, rep stages in the juniors and then be able to make it to the NRL that would you know uh, showing more teams and like kind of giving more insight for the fans would be really cool on all teams hopefully they can like this is a start of like a 16 year um, doco for all the teams and then game four was the Eels um direction on the game day was really interesting like Maguire was talking to the players like I want you to run this line and like you know this and that which I thought was really odd because isn't that what training is for the fact that you have to give like touch-ups just before the game um you know we weren't able to really see what went into the review like into the training uh, that would also be a cool thing to see hopefully like uh, in episode two, three, um, they're able to show that a little bit more. But um, yeah, it was just really interesting that he was trying to give people their roles on game day. Uh, the jer- trainer jersey um, mic'd up was a good insight. Reminds me of players mic'd up and stuff like that. Hopefully the NRL is able to bring that back at some stage. Um, and it was yeah cool to see his insight, what his relationship with the team is and with the players and all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, for this game, it was a good fight. I think they just were outworked on the day um, from like the short snippets they showed. Tigers, Tigers played all right. They just were outplayed. And Maguire is an, obviously an emotional coach. He obviously cares. But do the players care enough? I think that's kind of where I'm going to leave this video for today. Do the keep players care enough? Um, we obviously know how the season's gone so far, but very interested to see in number two of Wild West how the Tigers respond and what else they have to show. If you guys did miss it, make sure you go and check it out. It's on Fox League. There's isn't a promotional thing or anything like that, but it's on Fox League if you guys want to check that out. Uh, I think it airs on Monday, so uh, if you guys want to see this again for, uh, for episode two, let me know down in the comments and by liking this video. Um, also, pretty cool pause in this video. I got Liam Knight signature. I got a retirement Joel Bill, even though he's back, and a Jerome Hughes reti- uh, signature redemption card, which is awesome. Yeah, guys, like I said, if you enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe not to miss out on more and the episode two review if you guys want that. I'll catch you all later. Peace.